mad and I just took a trip 32 degrees had no problems and I wanted to give you the ultimate cool weather gear and outfit now first of all of course it's your coat leather non-perforated Alpine Stars jacket C2 rated elbows shoulders and it's not perforated no winds getting through this the only ventilation when it's hot is these zippers on the arms and that is it you close that up and you put your gloves over top of that nothing's getting through it. now to go with that I have non perforated leather uh, Dan easy riding pants knee protection extremely thick leather again non perforated I didn't feel any wind whatsoever when I was wearing these. And I wore my boots, which are ventilated, my full size Alpine Star Super Tech boots, which are ventilated, but I also wore my heated uh, socks. Now you can get better ones. I just got these for a trip that I took a month ago when it was going to be pretty cold. And just the toe is heated. And they come with a battery pack. They're usually rechargeable. These just came with double A's. Ten bucks. It was a good investment. But you can also get boots that are completely uh, sealed off. But the other big thing that I did was... I, uh, I wore these coveralls. Now, coveralls fit over top of my tight leather pants. So I wore them over top of my tight leather pants. And then my leather jacket I wore on top of this. And that really helped. My body was actually warm. It wasn't cold. It was actually warm. I had a little problem with my, with my uh, feet getting cold. For a prolonged period of time, I would get higher quality heated socks. See if you can get ones that where the whole toe is covered, not just the bottom of it. And the other thing too is... I don't have them here. I have these perforated gloves, but I ended up wearing these uh, sheepskin gloves, fleece-lined leather gloves. Now, they're not motorcycle gloves, but at least they were leather and they were thick. They were very thick leather, cowhide, and they're fleece-lined, and I had no issue with those whatsoever either. But make sure your gloves are covering up your uh, go the gauntlet goes over top of your sleeve. So no air goes into your jacket whatsoever. That'll definitely help you out. And keep moving your fingers on the throttle. Change positions on both sides to uh, keep your fingers moving. Move your wiggle your toes around. Make sure you get proper blood flow. And the other thing too is it's 100% necessary is a fleece neck gaiter. Not just a regular gaiter. We get a thick fleece neck gaiter. And I pulled it up over top of my uh, nose. And what I had was, I also had a fleece hood that I put over top of that, put my helmet over top. I had no issues whatsoever. My eyes got a little bit cold, but it was only about a half hour trip or so. Had no issues whatsoever. And that's just my tips on uh, this cold weather gear. In my opinion, the perfect cold weather outfit. The only thing is, heated gloves. If I can get some heated motorcycle gloves for a good price, Maybe on Facebook Marketplace, I'll go with that. But as far, uh, so far, 32 degrees, uh, 40 degrees, that was perfectly comfortable. And even 40 degrees, I can switch to my regular riding gloves. Be, uh, I think I got a little bit more control over the motorcycle that way. But the idea is to layer, and so you could, I could take these coveralls off when it's 45 degrees, be perfect comfortable. You know, and take off my fleece hoodie, still wear the gator. When it's above 60, take off the gator. And, uh, and, and when the weather changes, just be ready to change your outfit. I got perforated jacket here. I got perforated pants. And that's one thing you got to realize is you, uh, you might have to switch your outfit a little bit in the day. And that's one reason why I'm glad I got the saddlebags. I can keep a little bit of my outfit in there or wherever. But yeah, that's, in my opinion, this is the best route to go.